What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're talking about my first 24 hours with this guy, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So I've been using this phone for the last 24 hours, putting it through its paces, testing out everything from the battery to the camera quality and everything in between. And I gotta say, there's some stuff to say about that camera performance, which we will talk about in a little bit. But I did wanna intro this just by saying, well, as far as the design goes, there's really not much of a big difference over last year's S22 Ultra. We have a little bit of a flatter edge to this, which is kind of nice. Um, but overall, there's not really much changing here in the looks department. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. If it works, keep it and put better stuff inside of it instead of placing all this R&D budget into designing a new phone. And that's exactly what they did this year. So as many of you know, the Galaxy S23 Ultra packs the S Pen. And personally for me, that's not that big of a deal. Like I consider this the S23 Ultra and then there's a bonus that it has an S Pen in it that I can use for whatever. But most of the time I'm tucking the S Pen away and forgetting about it. That's just my personal use. I know a lot of other people out there do use the S Pen. It's got a lot of fans and it's very great at what it does. But for me, I'm just not an S Pen person. So I can't really find any specific use case in my life where I'm gonna be pulling that pen out all the time and taking notes or anything like that. So 24 hours isn't that long of time to use a smartphone as a daily driver and discover everything that it has to offer. So I'm gonna break this up into a few different categories. And the first one is performance. So inside we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, which is just a little bit of an overclocked version of that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And I gotta say, the, the phone is fast. Why wouldn't it be fast? It's 2023, we're talking about nice, ultra flagship phones here, they're gonna be speedy. Obviously a long-term review will let you know if the performance degrades over any period of time, but for the last 24 hours, it's been absolutely fantastic. One of the biggest upgrades here that Samsung sure spent like 20, 25 minutes talking about during their keynote is the camera performance. And I gotta say, I've noticed some big gains in that department, but is it worth you upgrading for these camera upgrades if you're on something like a Galaxy S22 or an S21? Probably not because I think that all of these, uh, over the last few years anyway, are very good contenders in the camera department, but there's a lot special happening with the S23 Ultra, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Inside of here for the main shooter, we have a 200 megapixel sensor. Yes, you can actually take 200 megapixel photos with this phone, but that is not really the point of having a 200 megapixel uh, sensor inside of this phone. What, what are you gonna do with that photo? Like, come on. Be real. Yeah, sure, you could crop in and make other photos. The real magic happens with pixel binning, where it takes multiple pixels and shoves them down into one, giving you better clarity, better low light performance, things like that. Of course, we do have that three times and 10 times optical zoom here, which works great. And we have the ultra wide camera, and those cameras are fantastic as well. Like, let's not discount that here. But the real story, obviously, with this smartphone is that 200 megapixel sensor. But let's talk about the daytime performance right now and I am pretty blown away by how nice these photos look. Like everything is tack sharp, everything is crystal clear, the colors are great. Honestly, this right now is my top smartphone camera because it just looks that amazing. I've not had any trouble in the exposure department or anything with that has to do with the camera actually functionally performing as it should, it's just it looks really, really good. These photos look great, and I will put a full gallery linked in the description if you wanna check them out for yourself, especially some of these high resolution photos. Like I said, you can take 200 megapixel photos on this phone, and you can zoom in quite a bit on them, but for me personally, I'm not gonna be busting out my phone, switching it to 200 megapixels just to take a photo like that every time. I actually am a bigger fan of what's happening in just the regular shot mode with the pixel binning. Now with that larger 200 megapixel pixel sensor, we do get better nighttime performance. Nightography, if you will, that's apparently a term now. So uh, taking photos in low light and dark situations with this phone is absolutely awesome. Like, I mean, the, the photos just look so good and it adds, a, they're, they're lightened up a lot by the sensor and with uh, some of the algorithms that Samsung is using in their computational photo, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> it just, the photos look super clean, whether you're in the daytime or the nighttime. And like I said, full gallery linked below if you wanna check those out for yourself. 
Now we can't talk about just photography, we need to talk about video as well because the S23 Ultra shoots 8K video up to 30 frames per second. Now I'm not one that's gonna be shooting in 8K a lot. I did all my testing in 4K at 30 frames per second, which looks absolutely beautiful. Like the footage is great as you can see. There's literally, it's nice and creamy backgrounds, tack sharp foregrounds. I just can't get enough of how great this camera is performing. It definitely felt like Samsung was directly aiming for creators when it made this phone. I mean, we have everything from Expert Raw, we have Pro Photo and Video Modes, which look absolutely great. There's a lot of different things in here that make this aimed towards creators, and I think that's a good thing. I mean, I personally, being a creator, would like a phone that caters to the, some of the things that I need, and the S23 Ultra definitely delivers that and some. So let's talk about the battery life, because when you have all this great performance and awesome camera features and everything like that packed into this phone, it really means nothing if the phone is dying all the time, right? So in terms of battery life, for the last 24 hours that I've been using it, I've easily been able to get five and a half hours of screen on time, and that's still having about 20% battery left at the end of a day. So I could probably push it to six, and that is just initial testing because obviously I haven't used this phone for a long time. So long-term review coming down the road, so stay tuned for that. But I'd say the battery life is pretty impressive, and I've just been doing normal things like browsing social media, navigating places, watching YouTube, taking photos and video, things like that. Uh, I use my phone a lot more than a regular person would, I would like to say, and so for me to get that kind of screen on time is actually pretty fantastic. I know a lot of people out there think that this phone isn't that big of an upgrade. It's just got uh, some camera features and stuff like that, and you know what? You're right. It's not that big of an upgrade, but it's a big upgrade for the people that Samsung was actually aiming for, like if you're on an S10 or even an S20, something like that. Previously, this is going to be a substantial upgrade for you, and I think that all in all, it's pretty fantastic, especially if you're coming from an older device. So as I said, this has just been my last 24 hours with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, and so far, I'm a big fan. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions though down in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in those comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this is Dom, and I will catch you in the next video.